G'day guys, Skits here, and welcome to another Counter-Strike Global Offensive gameplay commentary. Today, I wanted to actually make a video comparing um, Counter-Strike Global Offensive and Counter-Strike Source. Now, before I get into all that stuff, I want to clear a few things up before I start. Firstly, guys, you'll notice my aim throughout this video is average as usual. Um, I do have one excuse, and I don't know if this is a very good excuse, but my mouse was a little bit, um, it's a bit broken. Let's just put it that way. So, I, I, it was really hard to aim well. Um, and yeah, over, if you can see, guys, um, this is beta game. Play. Um, you're probably wondering, yo, Skids, why are you making this video when it's still in beta stage as well? Um, I've played so much of the beta, I've played so much Source, so I do know a lot about how the games both play out. Um, this is more just a discussion, you know, I don't want this to be some heated conversation where people are leaving nasty comments to other people. I just want this to be a bit of a discussion. Leave your um, comments and your opinions below, um, and also guys, leave a comment um, to uh, win a Counter-Strike Global Offensive Beta, sorry, I just couldn't get those words out. Um, beta Key, um, I've still got one um, more key to give out. So um, hopefully if you guys could maybe get this video to 100 likes, maybe help me out by leaving a like, even a favorite, and uh, leave a comment, and um, I'll pick a random comment, and uh, yeah, you'll get a Counter-Strike Global Offensive Beta Key. Now, anyway, guys, obviously, this is PC gameplay, so if you, do have, like, if you don't have a PC, then don't sign up. But anyway, guys, yeah, I'm going to be comparing CSGO with Counter-Strike Source today. So... <clears throat> Once again, I've played both heaps. I've played Source ever since it basically first came out, or maybe not that, quite that long, but I played it for a good two years, um, and then really enjoyed it for that time, and CSGO, I've been playing it ever since um, I got the beta access. So, um, yeah, anyway, guys, let's start with the gun. So, I'm going to be comparing a few different aspects of each game, and, um, yeah, as I said, this is just my opinion, guys. I don't want this to be some heated uh, argument. Uh, so, yeah, firstly, the guns. Now, one thing I really like about Counter-Strike, as just as a game, um, just the way it plays out. You know, just the way the gunfights play out. Like, if you're in a one-on-one -on -one situation, unlike Call of Duty, um, there is no sort of drop shotting. There is no sort of um, kill streaks. You know, no ballistic vests. I mean, there are there is armor, but the way the gunfights play out is fantastic. And it's just like the original um, Counter-Strikes. They've, they've all been played the same way, where basically you don't aim down your sight. Now, it's a bit of a... I suppose, I mean, a few games have this sort of style, but it's, it's quite, I guess you could say, outdated, because a lot of games don't really do this anymore. Battlefield, Call of Duty, those types of games. So, the question is, how does it work these days? You know, does it still uh, play out well? And I think, you know, it really does. It still works really well. Um, you know, gunfights are really skillful. Um, all of it is, you know, th you can't be k killed by, a, like, someone who's worse than you. Generally, it's... You know, if you're the better player, then you'll win the gunfight. So, just the guns are great. You know, they've brought back a lot of the original guns from Source. Um, obviously, they've added heaps of new guns. They all look really good. They all feel really good. The recoil's great. It's not too um, over the top. But in the same way, you know, <clears throat> if I get a... Um, if I pick up the game straight away, I'm not going to be that good at unlike with maybe Call of Duty where you can really pick it up easily. With this game, it does take a lot of skill. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with the way the guns are. They're, they're if anything, better than Counter-Strike sources just because there's more of them, there's more variety, and the way they play out is better. And just, I mean, just just let me say this now, I'm not going to compare stuff, um, because, like, I'm not going to compare stuff, um, in reference to Source because Source is so outdated. It's such a, I think it was made in 04, so I'm not going to compare stuff too um, strictly in that sense. So yeah, next thing guys is the maps. Now firstly, a lot of the original great maps we loved are back, Inferno, Dust, um, I think Illy was in the other one as well, there's a fair few that have uh, returned, but with that, there's so many new awesome maps that, um, that I can think of at the top of my head. They're just really great, they play out good, they're really small, um, fast paced, a lot of them. Um, a lot of them have minimal you know, buildings to camp in, minimal you know, cover to, to um, sort of head glitch in. I mean, just in general, the maps are really good, and they work really well for all the new game modes. It's just, in general, the maps are awesome. They look great as well, and they, they just feel really good to play on. And I'm sorry about my voice. It's a little bit croaky today. <coughs> But, um, yeah, no, to be honest, the maps are fantastic in, in Global Offensive. I'm really happy with them. So, um, i got to say, probably um, Source does um, does lose that once again. But just because this just has more maps. That's that's that simple. It has the same maps except more of them. So, you can't really compare it in that way just because this game is so much newer than Source. I mean, really, it's a very similar game except on a newer engine and all that stuff. So, anyway, guys, next thing is the game mode. So, um... <clears throat> 
in CS Source, we had basically the um, average sort of search and destroy sort of game mode. Uh, and then there was a few different mods and all that kind of stuff, but there wasn't that much variety. Now, with um, CS Go, they've added heaps of new things like classic casual, um, casual arms race. They're, they're even adding TDM, I believe, um, when the actual game comes out, which means you can, you know, constantly spawn and stuff. Um, it goes out saying they are making it a bit more Call of Duty-ish. Uh, they are making it a little bit more arcade I suppose you could say. But in the same way, it's not like they're adding kill streaks. You know, they're still making the game really fun. And there's a lot of awesome new game modes you can mess around with. So I'm really happy that um, Valve have, you know, kind of listened to what we've wanted from Source and just made a really uh, good new bunch of game modes that I've really enjoyed playing so far. So, um, guys, the next thing is the graphics. Now, I don't want to go into some dumb debate about the graphics because obviously CS um, Source is like eight years old. So it is stupid and just completely utterly dumb just to compare the graphics. But, I mean, just in general, I wanted to just talk about the CSGO graphics. I mean, sure, CS Source graphics were good in its time, but now they're obviously outdated. So, so far, you know, the CSGO graphics, they play well, they look good. Um, the physics engine is fantastic. Um, but you can't really compare it with Source. So, in general, obviously, CSGO would win just because it's a newer game. But, you know, the graphics are great in CSGO. They all look really well. All the maps look good. All the guns look good and all that kind of stuff. So, um, it's just in general, I'm really happy that Valve have, have basically made a similar game, which I think is good, uh, but just kind of made it a bit more fun, they've spruced it up, they've added better, obviously, graphics and all that stuff, added new guns, added new game modes, maps, and all that kind of stuff, which for me is what I wanted. A lot of people seem to be annoyed that they didn't make some new game, uh, which I personally thought wouldn't have even turned out that well. Um, so yeah, so far I'm really enjoying so, um, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, guys. Um, so yeah, the last thing I wanted to compare was basically just the overall fun and the frustration and all the skill required because I think for me um, that's a really important aspect of a game, you know, just the overall fun, just the way it plays out and the, the amount of frustration you get out of it because personally, you know, I get frustrated when I play COD a lot. Um, but with Counter-Strike, I just, I don't get that frustrated. I play it and I enjoy it, and I don't really get that, that annoyance that I get when I play, um, you know, COD or, or a game like that, where it's sort of constant, you know, overpowered kill streaks and all that sort of stuff. They've really kept to a simple sort of style, which I really like. Um, in terms of skill of the game, I mean, <laughs> the game takes so much skill. You have to actually be really good at aiming to do well in it. Um, it's just a really overall fun game. The one question I have to, to sort of ask, and it, I, I would like you guys to leave comments on this, is do you think the game will last long? Obviously, Source, a lot of people are still playing Source to this day, but I don't know about Global Offensive because it is a very, very similar game to Source, and I hope people don't get sort of sick of it. Um, so just to rank it out of 10, to give this a sort of review out of 10, I'd have to give it a bit of a maybe 9, 9.5, um, maybe 9 probably, just because, I mean, there is no campaign, which is a bit disappointing, and I mean, the game probably will get boring after a little while, but apart from that, it's really fun, I'm really enjoying it, um, the way it plays out is really great, I'd have to give Source probably an 8.5, just because it was a great game in its time, but to compare it nowadays, it definitely has dropped a bit of a rating, I mean, that's to be expected, um, and, um, just, yeah, I mean, in general, people seem to like the sort of old games, you know, people are gonna leave comments on this video saying, oh, 1.6 was the best, or Source was the best, but, um, really, I think CSGO has done well, they've done really well in keeping it a very similar, um, fun playing game that plays out really well, um, and they've just made it a whole of a lot funner, so I believe this game is gonna be out on August the 28th on all platforms, uh, I think maybe, um, Xbox or PS3 might come later on, but I know that on PC it is coming out on the 28th of August, so, anyway guys, leave Leave your comments below, let me know what you think, and um, yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later.